know for a fact that this is democratic work, democratic stupidity, possibly becoming its finest right now. I don't know what that means, but you probably know what it means. I don't know. Let's begin this. I'm going to give you three sources from KUSI, Times of San Diego, and US News, and World Report, whatever the fuck they want to call themselves. Uh, let's first start with KUSI. <clears throat> Assembly OK's gun show ban at San Diego Fairgrounds, April 25th, 2019, by Mike McKinnon, 3rd AP, Associated Press. Sacramento, California, Associated Press. The California Assembly voted Thursday to ban gun and ammunition sales at the Del Mar Fairgrounds in San Diego County, one of two legislative efforts to ban gun shows on state property. Democratic Assemblyman Todd Boreas' bill now goes to the State Senate. With this bill, we are demonstrating that we value people over guns and are putting public safety first, Boreas said in a statement. Another effort to ban sales at the Cow Palace in San Francisco and San Mateo counties has not yet come for vote in the full Senate. Both fairgrounds are owned by the state and managed by agricultural associations. The boards that run both fairgrounds have already voted to ban or delay the annual Crossroads of the West gun show, and the state bills would make those bans permanent. The cities of Del Mar, Encinitas, and Solana Beach, all near the Del Mar fairgrounds, have passed resolutions calling for an end to the show, according to NBC San Diego. The bill passed the assembly on a vote of 48 to 16, and the lawmakers spoke against it. Boyer released the following press release with the information on the bill and the vote. Sacramento, California. California State Assembly Member Todd Gloria, Democrat of San Diego, is set to bring forward his legislation to prohibit gun and ammunition sales at the Del Mar Fairgrounds for a full vote by the California State Assembly tomorrow. If successful, this would mark the first major approval for the bill by one house of the legislature and a strong rebuke of the NRA, who has targeted the legislation. Assembly Bill 893, AB 893, will prohibit gun and ammunition sales at the Del Mar Fairgrounds starting in 2021. Assemblymember Gloria introduced the legislation in February after the cities of Del Mar, Encinitas, and Solana Beach passed resolutions calling for an end to the gun shows at the state-owned property. AB 93 is co-authored by Assembly Members Tasha Borner Horvath, I don't know if that's how you say her middle name, Democrat of Encinitas, and Lorna Gonzalez, Democrat of San Diego. Okay, so it's pretty clear that Democrats are backing this stupid thing. It's pretty clear that Democrats would even come up and support this stupid thing. And I guess we now know where those Democrats are mainly congregating at or located maybe it's either that or they elected people in those places where they're retarded democrats i don't i don't fucking know i i honestly don't like democrats nor this bill because it just sounds stupid especially the way that says we are demonstrating that we value people over guns and putting public safety first how does that put public safety first? You literally just disallow people the chance to, to defend themselves. The police aren't going to be as effective as people who know how to use guns in the first place and are there to be able to stop the whole situation from escalating. They can help everyone else around them too because they'll have the mentality to be able to act in a situation like that. To act accordingly and act quickly. I don't really know much about guns, but I really, really want to know. I like know a lot about guns, but uh, I want to know. Well, first off, how to use one properly. Second off, finally fire my first fucking weapon. I don't fucking know. You know, go to the local gun range or whatnot asked to rent a gun I don't know how the fuck it works but 
rent a gun out, rent a session to shoot a target dummy, whatever the fuck. You know, just get a feel for how the firearms are. I never really was able to do that. The only closest I ever got was during an ROTC field trip I had at MCAS Miramar. We went to a facility that sort of mimic sort of mimicked guns. Like it had like pressure mechanisms to simulate how uh, gunshots would feel and vibrate your arms plus the the guns themselves were almost as heavy as actual firearms themselves. Again, they were just simulations of the actual thing, obviously. And they and they were just simulations mainly because why the fuck Actually, no, I want to say why the fuck would you give the, would you give teens firearms, but honestly, why not? Then again, what I just asked before the why not, that's what a Democrat would ask, or that's what a Kinthan parent would ask. I would have loved to be able to shoot a fucking gun, but nope. So thank you, Democrats. All right, next is Times of San Diego. Assembly passes Todd Gloria's bill to thwart gun shows at Del Mar Fairgrounds. Posted by Chris Genwine on April 25th, 2019 in politics. What sponsored Todd Gloria called a rebuke to the NRA. The state assembly voted 48 to 16 Thursday to pass a bill prohibiting gun and ammunition sales at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Today marks a major step forward for this bill and a major step t toward making our community safer by reducing a number of guns in our neighborhoods, said Gloria, a Democrat who represents Postal San Diego County. Does not represent me. Assembly Bill A93 will prohibit the sale of guns and firearms anywhere on the Del Mar Fairgrounds property starting 2021. Violation will be punishable by a misdemeanor. If it's ultimately passed by the state senate and signed by the governor, Gloria's bill would effectively shut down gun shows like Crossroads of the West at the at the fairgrounds. The communities around the Del Mar fairgrounds have been clear. They do not want these gun shows taking place on this state-owned land. With this bill, we are demonstrating that we value people over guns and are putting public safety first, added Gloria, who is a candidate for San Diego mayor in 2020. Uh, what does it say here again? They don't want these guns taking place. They don't know. Hmm. No, nope, still sounds still sounds fucking retarded as shit. Uh, some of the members: Lorena Gonzalez of San Diego and Tasha Borner Horvath of Encinitas were co-authors of this book of the bill the state of california shouldn't be in the business of using okay this is the fucking retarded ass part that gonzalez gives so fuck this bitch for saying <clears throat> the state of <clears throat> the state of california shouldn't be in the business of using our public land to join with the firearms industry to profit off the sales of guns and ammo fucked it up a little bit but you get the point said gonzalez Let's continue. Board of the 22nd District Agricultural Association, which oversees the fairgrounds, voted 8 to 1 last September to suspend gun shows until loopholes and concerns regarding the sale of guns and ammunition could be assaged. I don't know what the fuck the term assage means. The NRA Gun Owners of California and the California Rifle and Pistol Association have all opposed the bill through committee hearings and Thursday's vote. I think the next one sort of parrots what KUSI said, or vice versa. At least that's what I sort of got from the other reading of this pre recording. Sacramento, California, as well as Cedar Press. The California Assembly voted Thursday to ban gun and ammunition sales at the Denmark Fairgrounds in San Diego County, one of two legislative efforts to ban gun shows on state property. 
Democratic Assemblyman Todd Gloria's bill now goes to the state Senate. With this bill, we are demonstrating that we value people over guns and are putting public safety first, Gloria said in a statement. Another effort to ban sales at the Cow Palace in San Francisco and San Mateo counties has not yet come for, for a vote in the full Senate. Both fairgrounds are owned by the state and managed by agricultural associations. The boards that run both fairgrounds have already voted to ban or delay the annual crossroads of the West Gun Show, and the state bills will make those bans permanent. The cities of Del Mar, Encinitas, and Solana Beach, all near the Del Mar fairgrounds, have passed resolutions calling for an end to the show, according to NBC San Diego. The bill passed the assembly on a vote of 48 to 16, but lawmakers spoke against it. Voted for this one, yep. Alright, so again, it just seems like they're. Did I even read this little subtext? Okay, so it's after somebody okay's gun show ban at San Diego Fairgrounds. Underneath it is a subtext or subtitle. California Assembly has voted to ban gun and ammunition sales at the Delmar Fairgrounds in San Diego County. I guess it's like a headline that says on uh, US News. But overall, this thing honestly pisses me off. Even through that, I, I wanted to say some things, but I didn't want to fuck up the flow of reading. I don't like this ban one bit. I'm going through all of it, and so it basically says the same thing that uh, Todd Gloria is, I guess, the, the head of this author like the, the main guy like the I guess the mascot or icon of this stupid ass movement of trying to ban guns and shit I know what they're trying to do they were trying to pull he was trying to pull heartstrings around uh, where the fuck is it he's pulling the heartstrings when he mentions values people over guns putting public safety first you know, that should be a given. That should be something that you keep on parroting as if we don't know this shit. I'm not trying to say that this is not what he shouldn't be advocating for. Or whatever the fuck. People can easily construe what I just said there. But what I'm trying to say is he's he's just trying to trying to do the usual emotional attachment or emotional appeal to the voters in order to pass this bill and get support for it. It's mainly a democratic bill and I really hate this fucking bill mainly because you know I'm now of age to go to a lot of things especially go to gun shows. I would have loved to go to go to the gun shows if these fuckers are making it more and more impossible and I haven't really seen the reasons why or the good reasons why none of these fucking news outlets have even stated logical reasons why or maybe the history behind why they're voting for this but all I know is that they're fucking retarded and they shouldn't be doing this shit honestly I don't know how, how else to feel about this shit like I don't really like what Todd Gloria is going for, and I really hope that people see past all the Democrats' bullshit and stop trying to go for Democratic anything, really. I'm not really seeing any Democratic bills or taxes or really anything coming good from the Democrats at this point. It just seems like it, it sounds good, but it's not good. That's what pisses me off even more, is that they're trying to deceive us. And it's becoming more and more and more apparent. Again, pisses me off. Alright. I think a little bit of editing should fix this all up. This whole recording. But, uh... Now I'm going to do like another story. Possibly today, possibly some other time. Hopefully I won't take my sweet ass time doing these... Uh, episodes and shit, but you know, 
I'm still seeing where this goes, where all, where all this goes, where I'm going to go with this, where I'm going to go with anything really. Still figuring, figuring things out. So uh, I don't care how slow this goes, just as long as I'm doing it, it satisfies me, me only. So see you fucks later.